In this video, I'm going to show you a few common things to do with our device manager for your Caricorder device. Let us know in the comments if you have any other questions or things that you'd like to see how to do. To access the device manager, which is a web-based interface for configuring and changing your layout, your cords, and your settings on your Caricorder device, first go to caricorder.com and go to the Learn tab and go down and find Device Manager and then click this Access Here button. You can also just type manager.caricorder.com and then of course once you have this you can bookmark it to get back to it a little bit easier later. Once you get here it's going to pop up this menu on the right hand side to ask you to connect. If it doesn't pop up just click on this little button right here and then you'll be able to click connect. Now for this manager to work you do have to be using a chromium based browser so whether that's edge or chrome on windows or any of the other uh, operating systems. Once you click connect, you should be able to see your Caricorder device has a serial option here. Click connect, and then it's going to be downloading your layout, cords, and settings. And then once you're there, you can start to use the cords editing, the layout editing, or the settings editing. This menu is also where you'll be able to perform uh, options such as updating your device or rebooting your device and checking which firmware version you're on. So when you connect your character device, it's going to download your layout and show it in a graphical form for you. You can see where all the keys are on your layout. And when you hover, you can see what each of those keys are. You can change to other layers by clicking these buttons up here to see what those are and configure them. If you want to actually make a change, what you need to do is you need to click on a key and then you can browse through the menus and look for whatever key it is that you're, you're looking for and then select it. Let's say, for example, I just want to add a comma here. So it's going to show up in this blue um, sort of icon, and then a save button is going to appear up here. I can click save to commit that to my device and save it, or I can actually click undo um, to undo that change. In this case, I'm going to show you, I'm going to redo it, save it, and then now that's there and it is configured to my device. Now, if I want to go through here and just remove it, I can do that and then click save and then now it's no longer mapped there. And that's the layout. So if you click on cords at the top here, you're gonna get a list of all of the cords on your device. And this is a list that you can page through and sort of look through at what the cords are. Um, you can also search. So if I wanna search and see if I have a cord for something um, or any, I can see what that cord is. Now within this menu, you can make edits so for example, if I wanted to, let's see, do I have a cord for test? I do. Let's uh, go ahead and, I was testing something here, so let's go ahead and um, change this cord to actually output test something. And I'm gonna click save here. And if you want, you can actually go over here and then try out your cord. So you can see that that cord was updated there. You know, when you hover over here, you can put in some special actions. So by clicking that little plus, then you can maybe get to these things that you can't normally type. You can also just delete the cord. You can duplicate it um, and then set up some new cord inputs, or you can actually get a link to share this cord with uh, one of your friends. So I'm gonna go ahead and just delete this cord. You can see it marks it red to, for delete. And then I'm gonna save. And then if I go over here and try that cord again, you can see that it's, it's no longer there. So that is the cord menu. So once you connect your Caricorder device, click on the settings button up here, and this is gonna show you some settings that are available to you. These are all configurable through your device without the device manager through the GTM, but this is a graphical user interface that you can use to set those. This is gonna give you some information about what each of those do. And it will also give you access to um, actually resetting your device should you want to do that. So if you wanted to factory reset or reset your settings or your layout or just clear the cords, you could do that from this menu. So here, again, like other parts of the site, if you make a change, let's say I want to change this to 25, it's going to highlight it and tell me that I made a change. I can click undo to reset it to what it was. Or if I want, I can set it back and then just click save. And that's going to write that to my device. In this case, I want to set it back, so I'm just going to go ahead and save it. And that's the settings menu. Now we're going to talk about the local backup menu. 
If you turn this flag on, it's going to store a local backup of your device settings, chords, and layout to your browser. But you can also download those as files. So if I click here, I can get a file that downloads, and that's going to be a backup of all my chords, my layout, or my settings. You can also click this download everything file that will give me a full backup file that would restore all of those in one go. So let's say that I needed to restore. Um, let's say I you know, made some changes, but I don't like them, so I wanna go back to that. So if I just come into this restore and then find that file, once I load that in, you're gonna see and notice here that it pulled in this F15 as a change and it says save. So it, it basically stages the changes before it actually commits them. And then once you click save, it's gonna write those changes to your device. And then now my device is restored.